Hey besties, it's Lisa Marie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I love you guys. Today, we're gonna take Dollar Tree doilies and I'm gonna show you some hacks of what you can do with them. Let's get started. I found this adorable cutting board at the Target Dollar Spot. Actually, it came with two. And then I'm gonna use this doily from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use pumpkin paint and Rust-Oleum's linen white and also agave by Waverly. And I'm taking the doily and I just kind of rubbed it against the edges of that where I just cut that piece out so I could have it shaped like that. And then I did another little one just for the other corner on the opposite side. I'm gonna paint the little one in the pumpkin color. I'm gonna, after it dries, I'm gonna put some Mod Podge down and then I'm gonna lay down that piece right on the cutting board. And I will put some Mod Podge right over the top of it just to seal it in there. I'm gonna dry it first with my heat tool from Amazon, which you can find in my Amazon store. And then I'm gonna paint the other piece with the Agave Paint by Waverly, one of my all-time favorite colors. Dry it off, put some more Mod Podge on the cutting board and lay that one down. And then I'm just gonna cover that with Mod Podge like I did the other one. This is such a cute effect. It's like a fall cutting board. Then I'm gonna take some Saran Wrap, lay it over the top, and I'm gonna grab my brayer. And I got that at Amazon too. And I'm just gonna go over the top and make sure it's really flat. And this way, I don't pull up that doily. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nail file from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna, in a downward motion, go all around the edges, make sure they're nice and clean. And then I'm gonna cover the whole thing again with some Mod Podge. Turned out really cute. I'm gonna use some like cattails that I got at the Dollar Tree and then cut off those little like leaf pieces also. And I'm gonna take some rope that I got at Walmart and I'm gonna hot glue the first of it to the back and then I'm gonna take the little pieces of the cattails and kind of that long grass and then the leaf pieces and I'm just gonna attach them slightly at an angle and I'm just gonna keep wrapping the rope around until it covers up the stems and then I'm just gonna cut the last little half of that on the back and hot glue it. I just think this turned out so cute. It was super easy too. You could definitely make this. You could do any cutting board you want. This was just such a cute little one. I loved it. You have to tell me what you think. If you are enjoying this video, please stop what you're doing right now and hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And it tells YouTube to show my video to more people. Thanks. For this doily hack from Dollar Tree, I've got a little hoop. I actually got this one on Amazon, but you can buy them now at the Dollar Tree. They just don't have the little metal thing. And I have two pieces of scrapbook paper. And what I'm going to do is take just one of the doilies and I'm gonna lay it over the one piece of scrap paper, trace around it, and then cut that out. I want it to be the exact same size of the doily. Then I'm gonna take the other scrapbook paper and I'm just gonna cut out one of the larger little designs with the Florida Lee in the middle and I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and just really carefully go around and fussy cut the whole thing out. I'm gonna lay the doily on top of the scrap of paper that I cut out to match the size and then put the Florida Lee piece in the middle. Now I thought the white doily was a little too stark white so I made a mixture of burnt umber paint by Apple Barrel and water and I just you know, rushed over it just to give it a different color. But then it didn't really match, so I took some cashew paint by Waverly and just kind of dry brushed over the top of it heavily, and that made it really look like it belonged with the two pieces of scrapbook paper. I'm gonna take some spray glue, and it gets really wet, you guys. It, you gotta be really careful when you use that. And I just laid the doily right on top of the scrapbook paper so the little holes of the doily show the scrapbook paper. Then I put some more of that spray adhesive, and I put the Florida Lee piece right in the middle. And it's funny because it actually looks like a piece of tile now. I'm gonna take some saran wrap and my brayer and just go over the whole thing and make sure that it is really adheres, adhered. <laughs> and I take some Mod Podge and go over the whole thing. And I was hoping this would make it feel more stiff, but it really didn't. So then I'm gonna take the Agave Paint by Waverly. I'm gonna paint both of the hoops. I love that color. And I was, because I don't think that it was sturdy enough, I used that little chopping board from the Dollar Tree and some tacky glue and I just glued my pieces right on top of the cutting board piece. And I'm gonna you know, use the brayer to make sure it's laying really flat and makes perfect contact. Then I will just cut it out and that way it'll stay nice and stiff now with the cutting board on the back. So I thought I could put it on top and then put the middle little 
hoop inside well that didn't work so I just put the hoop back in tightened up the screw and then I decided I would just glue the hoops right on top and kind of give the illusion if it was as though it were in the hoops but I still think it's so cute I love it then I did want to add a little greenery so I'm just gonna first take my exacto knife cut off any little pieces that were sticking out around the side and then take the cattails and these aster flowers from the Dollar Tree. I like to break them apart, that way I can place them exactly where I want them. And I'm just gonna put them, you know, kind of like everything I do on one side, I'm gonna do on the other. And that creates a nice little area in the center where I can put the flower. And I just think it's really pretty and it kind of covers up the metal piece there, but you can still hang it with that, which I love. And there it is, all finished. I think this is so cute and I love that agave. What an easy thing to make. It's a great hack for a doily. It just creates a really cool texture. If you are enjoying this video and want to see more, definitely hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you back. For this Dollar Tree doily hack, I'm gonna take two doilies and I'm gonna take the sign from Dollar General. And then I got this burlap at a thrift store when I was visiting Jackie from Bless Beyond Measure. $4 for that whole thing, that's amazing. I'm gonna use some of those uh, well, fall florals as well. I've got this amazing tool from Amazon. It is in my Amazon store that pulls staples out. Like, look how easy this is happening. You couldn't get these things out if you tried any other way, I swear. And then I took off what I thought was a canvas and then watch this, it's paper. Okay, that is the cheapest sign ever. <laughs> anyway, I did go back and put some staples in the corners because I was afraid this would fall apart. I'm gonna take my cashew colored chalk paint by Waverly. I'm just gonna paint the whole entire frame just in case you can see it through the burlap. I cut a piece of that burlap and I'm gonna trim it down even further because what I'm gonna do is fold it over the sides and then staple it down and also use some hot glue. I'm gonna do all four of the corners first. I'm not sure if this is the best way, but it worked. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue and kind of tack down the sides. That's like, I'm almost wrapping it like a present would be. And then I'm gonna use some more hot glue and then I'm gonna start stapling the piece right onto the back there. And I do that with all four sides. Now that that's done, I'm gonna take my two doilies, I'm gonna keep them doubled up. And I want the scallop side to be up on top. So I just folded it in half and I'm gonna hot glue the two sides and then the very bottom, I'm also gonna hot glue that. And that creates a little pocket. And once I have it completely attached, I'm going to start playing with my florals, the aster flowers and the cattails from the Dollar Tree. I'm not liking that it's so white, white it, for a fall piece with the burlap. So first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna make it look like a little envelope. So I folded down one of those pieces and I'm gonna use my Burnt Umber Paint by Apple Barrel and I'm just gonna outline the parts that make it look like an envelope. But then it was still too white, so I did a mixture of water and Burnt Umber and I just kind of distressed it. And then I cut off that other piece because it just didn't look right if it was gonna be an envelope. And there it is, and I just think it's super cute. Would you believe my husband wants this one? You know he loves those really rustic ones, but I think it's really cute and it's perfect for fall. For this Dollar Tree doily hack, I'm using a doily, and then I've got this scrap of paper I got on Amazon and this poster board from the Dollar Tree. It was in smaller pieces and there were four of them, I love that. And then I've got my Cricut cutter, you could just use scissors too, and some a glue stick from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use my square to measure out some of the poster board paper to create a framework for a card. I'm making a greeting card, or just a card. And I'm figuring out how much of the doily I want to be on there. I'm gonna use my cutter to take off the remainder of it. And then I've got all these different scrapbook papers. Um, some of them came right out of that package I showed you and then a couple I had in my stash. And so I figured out if I wanted to do three pieces across the front of the card, what the dimensions needed to be. And you could do whatever dimensions would work for whatever size card you make. So it wouldn't matter which ones I did. But then I just decided I wanted to put a little butterfly on it. So I'm using this really pretty like dragonfly paper and I'm drawing half of a butterfly. This is a little hack. And then fold the paper in half and cut it out and that way both sides are perfectly even. You can do the same thing like when you make a heart. It's so much easier than trying to make both sides even just by drawing it. So always just do half on enough paper that you could fold it and cut it. I'm gonna use my glue stick and I'm gonna attach those three rectangles of paper onto the front of the card. I just think it's so pretty. And they're not matchy-matchy, but the colors complement each other. 
and I really like that. And then I'm gonna attach that doily piece that I cut. And for most of the doilies I use were just the kind of smaller version ones. I have so many left over now, so I may be able to use them for some other things. And I'm just gonna put the glue stick on the back, just the solid parts of the doily, otherwise they break. And I'll use my brayer just to kind of flatten it out and make sure it's laying really nice where the glue really is. Then I'm gonna take that butterfly, and I decided I need two more of the exact same shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace one over two pieces of paper and cut them out. I'm gonna glue down one of them straight on to the doily so it lays flat. Then I'm gonna take the other two and then like back to back, I'm going to glue them together and then trim around the edges to make sure that you can't see any of the back side of it. Then I'm gonna take a scorer that I got at the Dollar Tree. There's like a thicker side and a smaller side. And I'm just gonna score right in the middle of these glued together butterfly pieces and fold it. And then I'm gonna take these teeny tiny wood beads that I got on Amazon with a huge amount for a really good price. They're in my Amazon store. I'm gonna put four of them and just hot glue them right to the center and then fold it up a little. And then a hot glue right in the center and put that piece right on to the one that's already on the card. And it's so cute, but I thought the back needed something, so I just cut another piece of the scrap paper that I had and just glued that right onto the back, and now this card is done. And I just think it was so easy, and all the stuff I had on hands, and now here it is. I think it's so cute and you could make custom cards for any occasion. You could give them as a gift, make a bunch of little cards and give them to someone. I just think it's super cute. For this Dollar Tree doily hack, I'm going to take the small doily and this little candle holder that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use my heat tool to remove the tag. It was stubborn, by the way. And then I'm just going to separate one of the little doilies. And I decided that what I'll do is fold it in half and then in half the other way to figure out the exact center. And that way I can sit down my candle holder right, or put the doily, I should say, right over the back of it and make it centered. And so I added some Mod Podge on there. And then you're gonna laugh because after all of that, I still didn't center it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> so, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it is kind of funny after I went to all that trouble <laughs> and I didn't center it. I'm gonna make little cuts at each of the scallop pieces so that it's easy to Mod Podge the pieces against the bottom of the little candle holder. I'm just gonna do each piece individually and there it is, all done. And I just wanted to create texture, so that's why I did this. So now I'm gonna add Mod Podge to the rest of it because I think it would look funny that there wasn't Mod Podge on the rest of it. I'm gonna use my heat tool to dry it and I'm using a little turntable thing which makes it so easy to do things that you have to go around. I'm gonna use the Agave Chalk Paint from Waverly. I'm gonna paint the entire container. And then I'm gonna take my linen white Rust-Oleum chalk paint and I'm gonna dry brush over the doily. And I'm just doing it, like I said, to, for the texture and to bring it out. And I'm just putting a little bit on my brush, wiping most of it off. And then I even go back with a wet towel and wipe off some more. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of that white just around the rim. I just think that's super pretty. I'm gonna seal the whole thing with the one coat polyurethane. And there it is. I'm gonna use some cattails and some aster flowers from the Dollar Tree, or wheat they call it. And I'm also gonna use some foam that I got from some packages, I always save it. And then I'm just gonna stick that inside the container, cut individual pieces of the florals, and I'm just gonna stick them right in there. But it wasn't really full enough, so I have this little faux fl of greenery thing I got at Ikea. And although I could have kept it just as it was, I decided to use it to cut little pieces off of it because it was so economical. So there it is, and I'm gonna show you what the name it is since they have funny names for things. And I'm just gonna cut some pieces of this and I'm gonna fill in the rest of the gaps and that really does it. Kind of gives you that thriller, filler, and spiller effect, which I've been told is the best way to make a floral arrangement. <laughs> I'm gonna hot glue the foam right down and there it is. I just think it's so cute and I love that agave color and I have a few other pieces I've made that have the agave with a little bit of the white on it, so it's just gonna mix really well with my decor. I hope you like it. Now for one last look at all five of my Dollar Tree doily hacks. I love them. I can't wait to display them in my home. I'm super excited. Of course, my husband will claim this one. He loves that rustic look. And I will probably give the card away, actually. But other than that, they're all going to end up somewhere in my house. And you'll have to tell me what you think. Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. And you are truly a blessing to me. 
you enjoyed this video, I'm gonna have some more on the screen. Click on one of those next, and if you go, I'll see you there. Bye.